All right, I think I've got it recording. Good morning. Welcome to Five Minutes Set. We are ready to rock. Here we go. Jogging or marching in place to start our warm up. Light cardio, some stretches, and then we'll get to the real fun heavies and lights for today. If you have a medium set, you might be able to use that instead of lights. Just kind of feel it out as we're walking through the set. Let's take it to a tap punch. Just getting arms and legs warm here. Reach up high. Reaching low. Let's take it to a jump rope. Arms and legs moving. Whoops, did I maybe not mute everybody? I thought I did. Hang on. Let me make sure I muted everybody. There we go. Got just upper body coming, opening and closing. Front and back, twisting in the middle. Big circles to the front, to the back, last round, let's twist, arms up at your sides, moving them in and out as you twist side to side, last little round of cardio here, everything should be pretty warm, and we're going to stretch next. Locking fingers, wide stance with your feet. Press your hands out in front of you. Let them come up top above your head. Lean to the back, push your hips forward. Center, bending to one side. And the other. Out in front, rocking side to side. Get low, keep that rock going. Pointing one toe out, straight legs, big reach. Great, other side. Palms up, twisting to one side. And the other side. Opposite arms gonna come to opposite leg. Point and look to the sky. We'll rotate over, other side. Center, fingertips are between your legs. Put them backwards, walk them through the legs. Hands go onto your knees, drop your butt nice and low here. Wide sumo squat, rotate one shoulder in. And the other. Slowly straightening the legs, uncurling the upper body at the top. Couple of big shoulder rolls. 
switch direction. One arm across your body, cradle it, pull it. Switch. Do our tricep stretch and then we will get to it. Bending the elbow, use the hand to pull it down. Switch arms. All right, guys, we are ready to rock and roll here. We are going to work. Let's see, we'll need um, one heavy weight, just one, to break up the planking set. We're going to work um, in center plank, kind of do something kind of a little bit different. We're gonna do a single side toe tap and then we'll go right to that side for the side crunch. So I'll kind of walk you through it as we're, as we're moving here. So center plank on your elbows. We're gonna tap your right foot out to the side. This is gonna be your bottom leg when we move over to side plank. We're just tapping one foot out to the side, pulling it right back into center. Tap again. Right leg, it's gonna be your bottom leg in the side plank. Get ready to roll in three, two, one side plank and we're going to add in an elbow to knee crunch. If you need to modify here, that is totally fine. It would be bottom knee on the I don't, my mic's cutting in and out. Sorry. Bent bottom knee on the ground so that you can do this side crunch. Get ready to roll back to center plank. And we're tapping left foot. Left foot's going to be the bottom leg now. Left leg's going to be on the bottom when we roll to side. Sorry for the butt views. we are got the left leg on the bottom. We're crunching right arm to right knee. Again, modification here is that bent bottom knee, leave it on the ground. into our knees. We're going to grab one heavy weight. We're going to do three raises to three pulses. Front raise. At the third time, we're going to pulse for three. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three. One more round. Woo, shoulders should be burning, it adds up. guys, we're back to it. Center plank. Right leg is tapping out to the side. This will be your bottom leg for the side plank crunch. plank with a crunch, elbow to knee. Got the other side to do and then we are out of box. 
but why do you keep us cutting out? Battery looks fine. Ready to roll back to center plank, it's coming. Here we go, center plank. Left leg is tapping to the side. Last round, guys, here we go. Rolling now. Side plank, left leg on the bottom. Pull in, right knee to right elbow. First leg round, please up here. Weights are optional for the first part. We're gonna be in a, a front lunge sequence here for a couple of rounds. The weights make it harder, of course, but totally optional, up to you. All right, let me see here. We're ready to rock and roll. So we're going to start with an alternating front lunge. You'll switch your feet as you go forward. So step forward, front lunge, step back, switch your legs. Make sure that front knee doesn't drift forward over the front toe. Drop the back leg straight down. A little warm up here, and then we're going to pick a leg and stay on it. Okay, right leg forward, big push back. Keep going. Good form, watching the front knee and front toe. You could always do just a step. A step forward, a push back. Other leg, left leg forward. It would look like this, just big step, push back. The back knee doesn't have to do any bending or lunging if it's too much for you. Feel it out, your workout, do what you need to do for you. Feet deadlift, so feet are within shoulder width apart. Going down, painting the front of the legs with the weight, arching the back, head and the chest stay nice and tall. Push your butt to the back. Feel the big stretch in the hamstrings. Stand tall, squeeze. One more round, guys, and we're going to start it over. Repeat. Get that arch in the back, head and the chest stay up. Three, two, one. Alternating front lunge. Switch your legs. Watch that front knee. Back leg drops straight down. When both legs are at about a 90 degree bend, that's a perfect end to the lunge. And 
a big push back. Pick a leg. Right leg to the front. Push back. We're just working on one leg at a time. Almost there guys, close deadlifts coming, first leg round will be done. Close deadlifts, here we go. Two rounds, gets us out of legs. Can't see my sheet from here, so I'm not positive what's for upper body, but I do think we're standing for at least one of them. So we'll do that one, and then the other one's on the ground. When we come back from break, we'll be on the ground. One round, second one here. Take that nice stretch and stand tall. <clears throat> 10 seconds gets us done with the first leg round. Almost there, guys. Buys and tries is what we're gonna do for the standing upper body round. We're gonna use both heavies and lights. We'll start with um, heavies. We're gonna go to an overhead extension. Both arms working at the same time then a curl, and then we'll drop to the light weight. All right, here we go. Push the weights together. Up overhead they go. Bend at the elbows. Big press up. It's heavy, so slow pace is just fine. Bend, extend. Keep the elbows close to the forehead. Regular grip, bicep curl, palms face away from the body, curl up to the highest point of concentration, and then lower all the way back down. Pace yourself, we're here for two rounds before we drop to that lighter weight. Three, two, that's one round. Oh. Sorry guys, a call's coming in, that's why the music stopped. Timer's still going though, don't worry. <laughs> I'll fix the music in a sec. Call ends. Woo! The important part is that that timer doesn't stop. On my old phone it used to if a call came in. Three, two, one, dropping to lightweight. We're gonna do a butt press up. So your palms are gonna face away from your body. Bend a little bit at your waist, a little bit at your knees. Press through the triceps. Push those weights away. Oh yeah, burn baby burn. Palms are facing away from your body, up toward the sky. Three, two, one. Now we're going to a high 
kick back. Keep the elbows up nice and high as you extend back. Now the palms are in neutral hammer grip facing in toward each other. Elbows are up. Big squeeze. We are about to start over. Break it up a little bit though. Here's what we're gonna do. Heavy curl with the heavy weights. We're gonna switch. Now, so we'll go bicep curl, give those shoulders a little, or sorry, triceps a little break. Shoulders are burning too though, to be fair. <laughs> Must have had them on my mind. Heavy curl here, regular grip. Then we're gonna go overhead extension. Then back to the heavy curl. Then we'll drop to the light weight. Almost to a break. This class flies by. Three, two, one. Lock those weights up. Overhead they go. Bend, extend. If you need to drop to one heavy weight or your light weights, that's totally fine. Do what you need to do for you for good form. Three, two, one. Back to the regular grip curl. Light weights coming. We're almost out of buys and tries. Hope you're feeling great. We are almost to our break. Woo! Three, two, one. Lightweight press ups. Palms face away from your body, up toward the sky. Bend at the waist, push, push through the tricep. Backs. Elbows up nice and high. Squeeze through the triceps. This is it, guys. And stay in that nice bent over position. Keep those elbows up. Woo! Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, let's take about three minutes. We'll come back at 8.27. Pause the recording. All right, we're back to recording. Oh, I've got to turn the music back up. Turn the music up. Okay, so we're gonna start with our abs. Be on the ground here. One heavy weight. Let's see if I can remember everything. I got it. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with a rainbow twist. I'm gonna face you guys, you can see. Legs are just lightly bent out in front of me. I'm gonna twist to one side and paint the rainbow overhead as I twist to the other side. We're starting here. Next, we'll go to a weighted boat pose hold. <coughs> Okay, weight comes up, legs. Oh, no it keeps cutting out. Sorry. Legs come up, weight comes up, and we're holding. The side feet would be better for this one. From your knees down to your ankles are parallel to the ground for a good boat pose. Russian twist. Now we're twisting side to side low, not overhead.
then we're going to a flutter. You can drop your weight. Hands are gonna go under your butt. Keep your head and shoulders off the ground. Straight legs. Toes should be pointed toward you, flex toward you. Sorry, not, not pointed, flex toward you. Head and shoulders are off the ground. The lower your legs are, the harder this is. If it's too hard, you can lower your head and neck and shoulders all to the ground and put your legs up a little bit higher. Leg lifts. Now relax your head and neck, shoulders on the ground, lifting both legs. If this is a little bit of a challenge for you, you can do one leg at a time. Bend the foot, bend the like bend the knee and put the foot on the ground. Sorry, I'm having microphone issues. It's always something. We're about to start it over, guys. Rainbow twist, here we go. Rainbow twist. So we start on one side of the body. Paint the rainbow. Come to the other side. Legs are lightly bent. Heels into the ground, toes off of the, off of the ground. Boat pose. Oh, good morning, hip flexors. Now well, they're kicking in. So I've just got the weight out in front of me. I'm not resting it on my chest. I'm not resting it on my legs. Just holding it in between my chest and my legs. Make it a nice, solid boat. Not taking on any water today. Get ready to go Russian twist. Three, two, one, heels back to the ground. Low twist, We're twisting side to side. Low. can go down. We've got our flutter kicks. Hands under your butt, legs out in front of you. Toes flex toward you. Little flutters. Head and shoulders off the ground if you can. Oh yeah. Three, two, Last ab round, leg lifts all the way down right before they would touch the ground and pull them back up. Almost there, guys. Chest and back, our necks will be on the ground for that. And then we'll stand up a little change to how we did the legs. We're gonna work to the back on lunges. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go with a double knee hug. Get those hip flexors a little stretch. Oh yeah. Good burn. All right, let me see the set here. I think just heavy weights. Okay. Let's go with the heavy weights. We're gonna work between an overhead pull and a chest buster. And then we're gonna come into a push up with a row. So let's start with the overhead pull. You're gonna lock your heavy weights up together, nice and tight. Knees are bent, feet on the floor. Straight arms, reach overhead, feel that big stretch in the back. Nice pull, and then bring them up over your chest, just a little bit past your chest. When you get to that high point above your body, really squeeze your back into the mat. Nice big stretch here. This should feel pretty good. Chest 
thruster. Leave those weights pushed together. Lower toward your chest and then press up. Elbows come out to the sides. Part of the exercise is pushing the weights together. The other part is raising and lowering. That feels good. Back to overhead pull. Big squeeze and stretch. chest buster. Okay, when this one ends, we're going to come to our knees. We're going to use our weights though. We're going to go into a push-up off of the weights and we are going to row after each push-up. Get ready. That's our 10 second click. Coming to our knees next. Here we go. Arms are just a little bit wider than shoulder width here. You're gonna go down for your push up and then you're gonna row one arm and the other. Push up, row. We're gonna do two rounds here and then we're gonna go back to the ground and repeat what we just did. That's one, one to go. You can get real low on the push-up because you're lifted off the ground. You can get a little bit lower than you normally would. Nice big press, those feel awesome. We're six seconds out. back onto our backs here. Overhead pull. Arms up, weights together. Big overhead stretch. Squeeze as you pull it over your chest. If you need to drop to light weight to keep good form, that's totally fine. We're repeating what we started with so you know what it is now. It adds up. Chest buster, keeping the weights together. Bend toward the chest, elbows fall out to the side, and then a big press up. Overhead pull. We're almost there, guys. Straight arms, big stretch overhead. Squeeze together as you come up over the chest. Buster. This is it. Last round. Woo. Adding up. Last upper body round. We're going to get our legs done one more time through. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Take a sip. All right, we're in a good time. So we'll do our legs, a stretch, and then we'll be uh, another workout in. <clears throat> a little warm. 
warm out in the garage today. Sweating a little bit. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do the same leg sequence except instead of lunging forward, we're gonna lunge backward, reverse lunges. Weights are optional again, as they were the first time. So you're gonna start with your feet together and then you're gonna step to the back with one of your legs and then alternate. This is our little warm up here. Same concept though, you want those legs to both be at a 90 degree angle. That's a great lunge before you step back in. Modification, if you need to, you could do it just a step back and a pull in. All right, one leg is going down and in. To the back, pull it in. Front knee does not go past the front toe. Drop the back leg straight down to accomplish that. legs. feet within shoulder width apart. Reach down, take that nice stretch in the hamstrings, then stand tall and squeeze the glutes, the butt. And stepping to the back. Alternating. One leg. leg with good form to the back. Straight down. Pull it back in. Woo. Adding up. Other leg. This is it for lunges. Close feet deadlift coming. All right, guys, this is it. Here we go. Two rounds, one minute. Keep your feet within shoulder width apart. Come on down, paint the front of the legs with the weights and then stand tall. It's a soft knee, not a bent knee. Butt goes way to the back, keep your head and chest up. It's what makes that back have a natural arch in it. Last round. done everybody let's come on down to the ground do some stretches and then we will 
Oh, sorry. I must have gotten off somewhere. Do we have to do both legs? It's still going. All right, I don't know where I got off. Let's just do alternating reverse lunges. Maybe did we only do one dead? Oh, you guys will tell me when we're done. <laughs> Maybe we only did one deadlift round, and in my head we did two. Sorry, I thought I heard ding, ding, ding. Knowing you guys kept going, which I love. Oh, my mind is elsewhere. Now we can come down to the ground. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Woo. Let's hope I do better in spin. <laughs> Arms overhead. Reach through your fingers. Point through your toes. Wiggle the hips. I can't wait to hear from you guys and find out what I skipped. Hugging one knee in. Open wide to the side, ankle circles. It's got to have been deadlifts, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Take it across. Shoulder stays on the ground. Coming back to center, hugging the other knee in. Oh, that's a good stretch hip flexors, felt that ab round. Open wide to the side, ankle circles. Take it across, leave the shoulder on the ground. Double knee hug, cross the ankles, light rock side to side. One leg, grab it behind the calf, knee to nose. Oh, good hamstring stretch. The other leg just extends, hovers on the ground. Switch. And back to double knee hug, light rock. Whew, that feels so good. Rolling over to low cobra, elbows into the mat. Let your neck relax to the back. Push back, sit on your heels, feet together, knees apart, a little sway side to side. Hands into the mat, hi Cobra. Your neck relax to the back. Tuck your toes, popping in the down dog. Push through your heels. Take that nice stretch in the back of the legs, the calves. And walk the dog. Slow walk back to folded. Slowly uncurling. Let's have a big inhale. Exhale, pull. Tipping to one side, the other. Two more times. Thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you have a great week. See some of you for spin next.